Good afternoon, I'm Nick Reagan, again here with Ms. Rita Berry, President and CEO of the Chamber up here in the Somerville area. Now today we are talking about the Chamber and some exciting times right now. You guys have actually set your priorities for the upcoming year. Can you talk a little bit about what those priorities look like? Yes, absolutely. Thank you so much for this opportunity. Um, so the Chamber is a business advocacy organization and we have four main divisions that we work um, do work very closely with as far as our program of work and um, public policy, business and community development, education and workforce, and member services. And so since we're a membership organization, we're always working um, diligently to ensure that we're servicing the members and, and their needs. And so part of it is business advocacy. And so what um, in that area, we work with our elected officials um, on the, for the town, the county, and on the state level just to ensure that the, that the business community, their interest is, is taken care of. And um, so some of the things that we're, we're focusing on is also um, business, in the business and community development is um, just making sure that we're offering, providing the resources for the businesses, um, especially small business as far as workshops and different types of educational needs that they, that they may have to help them do business, um, even take, it, take their business to the next level. And um, as far as education and workforce, we're working very closely with our um, educational system to ensure that we have um, that the training that is that, that the education that's being provided is um, something that the business community is that there's a good communication between the business community and what's being offered um, through the schools just so that we know that once the students graduate that they will be able to um, either go right into the workforce or they'll be on a, a track to help them ensure that they have an opportunity to have employment and stay and work here. Because Somerville <laughs> is, is a really up and coming area right now. Um, you guys have got a task ahead of you, sort of keeping up with everything. How are you able to keep up with all of these businesses that are trying to come not just South Carolina, but, but to Dorchester County and Somerville in general? And, and you know, why, why do it? Well, it's important. I feel like you have to have, you need the diversity in order to have a good quality offering to the community as far as resources, but also uh, an employment base. And um, so working with the businesses with whatever their specific needs are and what we're finding, and especially over the last several years, is a strong workforce. I and mean, that's the talent. It's, it's, um, it is, you know, certainly uh, something that, that we have to, um, that we're helping to address but also um, just ensuring that, that, the, that we're providing, that this is the uh, right place to live, work, and play, and that, that they're able to get the type of training that they need in order to um, fill the jobs that well, are Can you talk needed. a little bit more about how you're, or you're pairing, uh, especially young folks, with um, you know, the training that they need uh, to, to get some of the, these jobs? And how are you guys working with schools whether that be high school or technical schools or even colleges to, to, to make sure the workforce is where it needs to be? Well, uh, we feel that one of our main roles as an organization is to be the convener of the conversation, not that we provide all the, the solutions and have, you know, and provide all the resources, but we're able to bring the partners together um, to, to uh, number one, assess the needs, and then secondly, to, to be able to address some of those needs and, and provide the the um, the opportunities, the the training um, f that the business community is needing, and I'm rattling on, so you can just <laughs> cut this out. <laughs> but um, to provide just an opportunity to bring all the all, all the sectors together, so that we have the the, the businesses at this table talking to the to the educators, and um, and there's there we partner with Dorchester County Economic Development, we partner with um, District Two and District Four schools. Um, and, and then, of course, our technical colleges as well as um, other entities. Sure, just to convey, it be that bridge between business and, and education to, to make sure that what's being taught in school is sort of also what is needed in, in the community. Now, you guys have your name stamped on a, a, a lot of events. You guys are uh, constantly adding new things. One thing that I'm kind of excited about is, is these, I guess, behind the scenes uh, tours that, yeah. that you're sort of arranging with local businesses. Can you touch on that a little bit? Absolutely. It's a new program that we, we just started. It's called Backstage Business, and it's an opportunity 
for our uh, business community to see what actually goes on in some of our larger industries, just a behind the scenes so that we can help be better ambassadors for them and um, understand what, you know, exactly how, how things work, but also opportunities for us to help share information and, and share the word because the, uh, obviously they're needing a strong workforce in order to continue to um, to expand and to grow. But um, So you did the first one already. How yes. did that go? Where was it? It was at Keon, North America. It was um, wonderful. It was very well received and um, we spent um, like three hours there and were able to just go and just see exactly how things are, you know, how, how mm -hmm. their production and and how things are laid out, and um, and also to hear more about what they what they anticipate happening in the future. There's a lot of, a lot of expansion that will happen, and so just to be able to to be aware of that, and also see how we can help. Going into the new year, um, what can folks look to forward to in 2024? 2024 is going to be a, a great year. We um, have we're going to be working more closely. I, I feel with the town and the county. Um, on some visioning and um, as you know this is one of the fastest growing areas in the in the not just in the low country but also in the state and so just to uh, make sure one of the things that we're strongly committed to is making sure that that we're sharing the information and, and all the and, and that we're the go-to resource for information for um, a lot of the activities so we host power hours each month and we bring in different um, just different top about different topics whether it's attainable housing or whether it's transportation infrastructure whatever and just being the resource to get the the facts from the source um, is is critical especially as we as a community are growing we need to make sure that everyone understands exactly where we are and where we're going and that they have um, have a part of that all right, plenty of good stuff happening up here in Somerville. This Rita Berry, President and CEO of the Chamber up here. Again, thank you so much for letting us come up here and chat with you. Well, thank you for the opportunity.